inside the $20 million Ad Astra Trimaran Super Yacht. The world of yachting and yacht lovers is getting better with every single passing day. Today, we are looking at one of the world's most impressive super yachts that sets a pace for efficient, long-range cruising. The masterpiece we are talking about is the $20 million Ad Astra Trimaran Super Yacht. In Latin, Ad Astra means to the stars. You may already be familiar with the phrase, given Brad Pitt's 2019 movie of the same name, which earned him wide critical acclaim. But you probably are unaware of the yacht version of it. Well, this Ad Astra won't take you to the stars, but it definitely looks like it could. The super luxurious Trimaran was launched in China and built at McConaughey's Suhai facility for a Hong Kong client who wanted a long range ocean voyaging machine. The good thing about boat building is that you can get precisely what you are looking for, provided you have the cash to match your appetite for opulence. The Ad Astra is no exception. It houses everything within the confines of overindulgence. Some people can't merely settle for an ordinary, run-of-the-mill super yacht. Like all the other millionaires and billionaires, they need something a bit flashier to set them apart from the crowd. For those people, there are yachts like Ad Astra, a sleek, custom-built Trimaran, the extravagant vessel, which looks less like a yacht and more like something out of Star Wars, is built for exploration. Due to its streamlined shape and lightweight construction, Ad Astra can travel across the Atlantic twice without refueling. Plus, its unique design means it can venture into shallow harbors and get up close to islands, unlike most traditional yachts. There is no other super yacht like Ad Astra because it was designed to be outstanding. Shipping magnet Anthony Martin commissioned it with a British designer and his good friend, John Shuttleworth. The 140-foot masterpiece has remained a champion in the sea. Not even the newbies come close to what it offers. The Ad Astra was the result of careful design, planning, and discussion with the owners. To build a yacht that would meet the needs of a very experienced ocean voyaging couple and their family. And also, it was to provide the level of comfort and style that would be expected of a yacht of this class and size. No effort was spared in the challenge to produce a beautiful vessel that has low fuel consumption and yet provides excellent sea keeping qualities and luxurious accommodation. Ad Astra takes the power trimaran concept further than it has ever been attempted before. This futuristic projectile was built by the Australian McConaughey Yard in Hong Kong in 2012 at a reported cost exceeding $20 million to cruise in Indonesia and Southeast Asia. In the seven years since the launch, she has crossed the Atlantic several times, taking Martin and his wife around the globe. Her reported estimate price now might be around $12 million, according to the Rob Report. Ad Astra's aerodynamic wings help her float on the water. Thus, her drag is significantly reduced, and only 20% of the vessel is submerged in water. In light of this, the lightweight glass and carbon boat consumes about 14% of the fuel used by more traditional yachts with the same specs before fuel and water. Ad Astra tips the scale at just 52 tons. The holes are made of a super strong e-glass and Kevlar foam sandwich, with the deck and superstructure constructed from carbon fiber with a lightweight Nomex honeycomb core. Powered by a single 1,150 horsepower Caterpillar C18 straight six turbo diesel, Ad Astra has a top speed of 23 knots with a cruising speed of at least 17 knots in pretty much any weather. For backup, it also has a pair of 110 horsepower Yanmar diesel engines. According to Rob Report, the yacht has a range of 10,000 nautical miles. And when cruising at 10 knots, she burns only 4.5 gallons of fuel per hour. The owner reported in October of 2020 to have sailed from St. Martin to Vigo in Spain, having enough fuel left back to head to the Caribbean. But this multi-million dollar yacht is built for pleasure too. There's a full dining area behind the lounge, complete with a kidney-shaped wood table and a pair of skylights. Toward the back of the interior, there's a sofa and a bar area. Below the deck, there's a master suite that spans the full width of the hole. The master bedroom has a private full bath and desk. In total, Ad Astra sleeps up to nine guests, along with six crew members. There's a second full bathroom below the deck as well. The helm station has seating for two and is raised above the rest of the yacht. On the aft deck, there's teak flooring and a couple of lounge areas including full dining setup for meals outside. Plus, the yacht sits less than four feet below the waterline so that it can venture into shallow harbors. The back of Ad Astra spots a large diving platform and has room for two smaller boats for recreation and getting to and from the port. A sliding door at the front of the main saloon gives way to a covered lounging area on the bow. Plus, 
There's a tanning area with bean bags for catching some rays. If all that sounds appealing and you've got a spare eight figure sitting around, this might be the yacht for you. After spending several years cruising the globe aboard at Astra, Marden revealed in 2020 that he was ready to sell the head-turning vessel at $12 million and give more attention to his other yacht, he told Rob Report, to keep passengers comfortable on long journeys. At Astra, it's every bit as luxurious as it is capable. Additionally, on the inside, there's the main living space with a wraparound lounge area, stunningly supported by panoramic windows, serving unscathed views of the sea. The yacht features lots of custom materials, including lightweight oak cabinetry to decrease weight and improve fuel efficiency. Unlike the modern super yachts, Ad Astra doesn't come with amenities like a fully equipped gym, sauna, pool, or touch and go helipad. That said, whatever points it may lose on the luxury side, it more than compensates with a high grade of efficiency. Her 16 meter beam makes for a more comfortable and stable crossing, so guests aboard can enjoy the open plan living spaces to the fullest. The main saloon benefits from large wraparound windows with skylights over the head, while below, extra space has been created by flaring the central hole above the waterline. The floor deck is accessed through the main saloon and feature a large sunbed that can be shared with an awning suspended from carbon fiber poles set into the deck. In the evenings, guests can retreat to the aft deck and dine al fresca, come rain or shine, thanks to a hardtop bimini and a set of sliding covers. If you still can't believe that the Ad Astra is a respectable queen of the sea, then wait. With a striking silver exterior and its unusual trio of holes, Ad Astra turns heads wherever she goes. Her eye-catching design made her a show favorite at 2020 Kane's Yachting Festival, and it also made headlines in the Monaco Yacht Show. For any admirer, there is so much to take home about this superboat. Ad Astra is a power trimaran, unlike any other super yacht out there. It is a rule breaker in every sense of the word. It was built for exploration, clear focus on strength, stability, fuel efficiency, and weight reduction. It excels on all counts, and it's also a stunner. And no, this isn't just a polite way to say this yacht is lovely to look at. So there you have it, the $20 million Ad Astra Trimaran Super Yacht. What would you do if you were to spend a day on this yacht? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.